guys, it's Catherine, and it's time for a My Kinda Recaps. Okay, so this week on All For One, over on Kinda TV, were the 14th, oh, the 15th, 16th, and 17th episodes of the show, and we're getting really close to the break that they're taking. We have this week, well we had this week, and then next week, and then there is a break, and then they're going to do a huge live event. So, I'm gonna have to figure out what else to do in these recaps while the show is on mini break. But anyway, back to the crazy things that happened this week. So, in episode 15, Backstab in the Back, we open on a crazy drunken party scene in Dorothy's dorm. And everyone is drinking except Portia, who does not look happy at all. Like, she's just sitting on the couch by herself because Ariana, 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 I have said her name wrong every video. Ariana. There we go. I'm gonna remember. If I say it wrong in this video, I'm just gonna like re-say it multiple times. So Ariana is standing with Miller and chilling out and very, very drunk. So we get to hear actual audio of Rick talking because he's yelling at Douchefort about giving up secrets and firing him. And Rick sounds like a super pretentious like TV villain. Like, I can just see the, like, mustache twirling. I feel like he doesn't have a mustache, but I just imagine it in my head, like, Wah -ha -ha. Okay, so, Portia is worried about what they're gonna tell Alex, because Alex didn't really want them to go through with this, and then we get to see sort of what happened between Owen and Portia? Um, Dorothy has an awesome, uh, and very drunken idea to reenact the events of their plan and sadly there are no sock puppets. I know, sock puppets make for lovely reenactments, especially when you're talking about vampires. But anyway, um, they do a reenactment where Portia and Miller are the bodies and then Ariana, 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 oh my gosh I'm gonna say her name wrong so many times. Okay, Ariana and Dorothy are the arms and the voices, and Miller and Portia are just supposed to like lip along. Um, so Portia still looks miserable. Like she looks like she just wants to go home and like not deal with any of this anymore. But in the reenactment, we learn that Portia went around campus telling like random people these secrets she got from Miller, which are like random things. Like there's something happening that the student union is doing, it's a big secret, and that Rick likes bald women who do interesting things. And then, while she's going around campus, a uh, douche fort appeared and was like, hey Portia, what are you doing? And she like sort of flirted with him, and then like hugged him when Rick was nearby, because Rick had already heard what was going on, and so Rick had Owen come back to his office, and then they had the bug, so they heard what he was yelling at Owen. So Owen is fired, and they sort of got what they wanted, but Rick is irate, so I don't, I mean, Rick seems super, super scary. Then, while some of them are still celebrating, Alex appears and looks like she wants to punch someone which is not something I frequently see Alex wanting to do. Dorothy, yes. Alex, more reserved. But she storms in and thinks Portia is in terrible danger, which, I mean, Rick is a terrible guy, so I'm really concerned for Portia. Like, I mentioned this before. Super concerned for Portia all the time right now. Um, and she's really angry that they went through with the plan. She told them they shouldn't do it. Dorothy says they outvoted her, and Alex is like, oh, okay, sure. And then she's pretty sure that Miller is behind all of this and she doesn't trust him and think that he's, thinks that he's manipulating all of them because when he was Anton, he was a huge manipulator and she doesn't trust anything that Miller is involved in now. So that happens and she storms out. She doesn't want to talk to any of them at all. And then at the end of the video, we learn that Dorothy just wants to make everything crazier, which concerns me. Like, they're already kind of intense. Like, they got someone fired. Even though Douchefort is kind of a jerk. I mean, he is a jerk. He got fired by a very, very scary guy. So that was the end of the episode with Dorothy wanting to do more. And then in episode 16, Fish in a Barrel, 
We got the Nerf gun fight! I've been waiting for this Nerf gun fight forever. Uh, when Gwenlyn was interviewed by Natasha Nicovanlis on Kinda TV about the upcoming show, she said that it was about Nerf guns and sisterhood. And I was really looking forward to Nerf guns. So the Nerf gun battle that opened the scene was great. And Portia totally hit Miller with a one shot during the scene. It was great. Um, and then we randomly learned that Dorothy has arm breaking on her bucket list. So um, that could be why she mentions breaking people's arms all the time. I also hope she doesn't break anyone's arms before the end of the show. I just I feel like that's in danger. Big danger. All the danger. Okay, so Portia, even though she looks happier, still seems upset. She does mention that none of the MST sisters really want to talk to her. Um, now that they think that she's Du Schwartz's friend, which is really sad because Portia is such a nice person, but she thinks that they all think she's sort of like a ditz and that now they're just upset because none of them like anyone from the student union because of the stuff that they've been doing to Anne. So it's understandable that they would feel that way, but it's really sad for Portia because she doesn't even want to be doing this plan. And now everyone's mad at her and she's so nice. Um, so while all this is going on, Portia gets an email from Rick inviting her to come to his office and she freaks out, which I mean, you should freak out when you get a note from a an evil mastermind. You should not go. I mean, I, she's going to go because everyone else thinks it's an amazing, like, way to jumpstart the plan. Like, they'll be able to get into Rick's office and do stuff because they have an invite and they can just get in. And so Portia agrees, sadly. I feel like all of Portia's agreeing and all of this is just like, yeah, sure, okay. And so she's gonna go see Rick, but then Miller and Dorothy have a secret whisper conversation and we don't know what they say, but something is going down because Miller says he has to go like set it in motion. And then as soon as he leaves, Douchefort shows up drunkenly stumbling into Dorothy's apartment, well, dorm room, and he's like, I understand he got fired and that was a really big deal job and like I feel bad because even though he's a jerk he didn't do anything he got fired because of their plan and then he actually seems worried for Dorothy because he starts telling her that she doesn't know who Miller is and then he like looks at her and he's like no you don't know who he is you're just a stupid kid so something is definitely up with Miller like, all of the things Alex has said about not trusting him seem spot on. Like, something is up, super up, with Miller. And then, um, in the next video, episode, I keep forgetting the episode numbers today, episode 17, The Good Guys, there's more drinking! There's a lot of drinking going on currently. Lots and lots of drinking. Um, Portia's still not drinking, but Ariana, uh, Ariana Miller and Dorothy all toast to the success of their plan and it turns out that Portia and Ariana both went to see Rick and that Portia said that Ariana was her bodyguard and they went to the office but then Rick and Portia left and like wandered around campus and Portia was like yeah it was great I acted dumb and pretended he wasn't hitting on me and then while they were gone Ariana hacked into Rick's cloud um, and she also planted something. Yeah. Ariana left meth, meth in Rick's office. Drugs. She literally put illegal drugs in his office that she got from Miller. Yeah, Miller knows a guy who has complete access to meth who just gave it to him for free. Like, okay, meth is terrible, but the fact that Miller knew someone who would give him meth is, oh my gosh. I freaked out mostly because I was like, seriously, you knew a guy who could just give you meth like on a whim. You just knew a guy because meth is a hard drug. And I, okay, 
I've never actually seen Breaking Bad. I know, please don't yell at me. But I do know that meth is expensive. So does someone owe Miller a favor? Does Miller just hang out with drug dealers all the time? See, these are the things I think of because it is not easy to get meth. So the fact that he could get it so quickly freaks me out a lot. So Dorothy is in trouble, like in danger. Portia, Ariana, 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 I said it right, Ariana, and Alex. All of them are in danger. Like everyone, everyone is in danger. And Portia has the best reaction to everything, the most logical ex like reaction. She's like, what? you're gonna get Rick arrested? Seriously? He didn't even do anything. And then they see something that we've all been wondering about. Um, the files from Rick's Cloud Decrypt and Ariana finds really random photos that Rick photoshopped of him with super long hair riding a unicorn. Um, but also naked photos of Anne, which makes sense. Rick was holding something over her head, so there has to be something really big. And naked photos are definitely a big. So Portia is very worried that based on their actions that Rick will now just release the photos and Anne's not safe anymore. And she was only doing this because she wanted to help Anne. That was the only reason she was interested, the only reason she agreed to do anything. And now if Rick figures out, he's going to figure out what happened. Like there's no way he won't connect the random meth back to them because the only people he's come in contact with are Ariana and Portia. And I bet you that Rick has video cameras in his office or like spying equipment, something. So I bet he knows that Ariana put it there. Like he's gonna track it back to them. And so Portia is super upset and Ariana is just like, um, like she doesn't understand why Portia doesn't think this is a good idea. She tells her to go hang out with Alex and Portia is like, no, you need to listen to me. And she's really upset that Ariana hasn't been listening to her and that she's just been like, that she's been laughed at and all this stuff. And Portia and Ariana start fighting. And while they're fighting, my heart broke a little. Okay, my heart broke a lot because Portiana forever and they broke up. They broke up, she left and Ariana didn't go after her. And Dorothy told her to, but Ariana just wanted to focus on the plan. But Portia looks so upset and Ariana looked upset. She was like tears in her eyes. But I don't, I don't want them to break up. They're wonderful, I love them. Huh. Also, Miller, while Portiana were arguing, he looked super smug, like giggling smug. Yeah, no, he was enjoying it way too much. I, mm, I just want to punch Miller in his smug face. Oh, because I can't. Oh, there are only three episodes left and then the live thing. And in those three episodes, if we do not find out what Miller is up to, I'm going to go crazy because Miller, Miller is getting very evil and I do not like it. I do not like it. I mean, it's an amazing show. I love the show. I love, I, yeah, all the love for All For One. But Miller, mm, Miller. I really wish they had trusted Alex and not done the things Miller wanted them to do. <sighs> okay, on, <laughs> I'm like, this is a very low beat ending because we talked about Portiana breaking up mm. and the shady business of Miller because ooh, Miller. So there you go. Next week, I'm excited to see what happens. I'm really excited for this live event. Like it sounds like it's going to be super amazing. Like live action inseparable -ing. I'm so pumped. Really, I'm super, super pumped. So that is it for this recap. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me. You can find me on Twitter at Clef Notes, on my blog, clefnotes.wordpress.com. I write for the Nerdy Girl Express, which is nerdygirlexpress.com. I run their Snapchat, the Nerdy Girl EXP, and I post iZombie-related recipes to the iZombie Support Group site, which is the iZombie, which is iZombiesupportgroup.com. Bye, guys.